I'm Michelle Gasso, and this is something straight out of my mind. So I don't know when this is actually being uploaded, but I'm telling you, I am making this video on December 22nd. I had originally intended to do it on the 19th and do this whole thing about how I was midway between two related and kind of important dates for me um, in December. Oh, okay, when I'm done with this story, you may think important, but, you know, let's say significant. Um, December 17th, and which would have been uh, the birthday of one of my very favorite actors, um, Richard Long. And he was, I, I think, best known for his role as Jared on The Big Valley. And a little bit later, Professor Everett on Nanny and the Professor. It was a fun show. And then yesterday, uh, December 21st, very sadly, is the anniversary of his passing. It was 1974. Uh, I'm thinking about my age right now and realizing I I've already survived him by 10 years. Oh my gosh. But I think looking back, he's still a favorite actor of mine. Um, I, I still enjoy watching shows and movies that he was in. And one of the interesting things was that I got introduced to the Big Valley when it was in syndication on one of our local TV channels. And I think actually, now that I think about it, we only had like the one local channel at the time. I know that's really hard to believe with the hundreds of channels right now showing absolutely nothing. But the Big Valley came on and I, I actually remember the, the commercial with the Big Valley, Valley, Valley echoing a call of high adventure. And I actually tuned into it to watch Lee Majors who I had been watching for you know, a few years on The Six Million Dollar Man. And what was really funny, I do have to say, is tuning in to the Big Valley, and it was the really early ones, and he was blonde at the time. And I'm like, where's Lee Majors? I, just somewhat a little bit unrecognizable, the way they had him, like I said, blonde and made up and everything. But the episode that I was watching I remember the episode and I remember why I was drawn to the character of Jared and this was the character played by Richard Long the eldest and wisest of the Barclay sons yes that's how the commercial said it but this episode had a profound impact on me the episode was called Last Train to the Fair and What's really interesting about it is the family is traveling to the state fair and Audra has an appendix attack and there's a doctor on the train and the doctor is played by Richard Anderson so here I'd actually turned in to, sorry tuned in to this TV show to watch Lee Majors because of the six million dollar man and I see him with Richard Anderson very first episode that, that, that was just really mind-boggling but I, I was drawn to Jared, to something about him, and I, I l figured, realized later um, that one of the reasons was that, first of all, there was the fami familiarity because I had watched Nanny and the Professor and loved him and that, but didn't like make the connection. And I have to tell you, I was like 11 years old when I'm watching this first episode, but it was his. Jared's interaction with Audra during this whole thing. This Audra's their sister. And by the end of this episode, it was like, I want Jared for my big brother. I want Jared for my big brother. And that's the impact it had, and that kind of stayed with me. And at the time when I was 11, I, I didn't know there was any such thing. Maybe there wasn't then, but called fan fiction learning that now there's fan fiction all over the place people write stories for their favorite TV shows and I'd even created a story bringing me into it as a sister into the Big Valley but you know just kid stuff right well eventually again when I first got 
access to a computer and the internet. The Big Valley was one of the things I looked up. And that whole thing of, you know, Big Brother Jared. And I started pulling out some of these story ideas I'd had back in the day. And then I realized something. At the, even at the time, I was older than Jared. It's like, okay, I can make this work, I guess. And if anybody happens to be watching who's writing my stories, they will know that I did create myself to be a cousin, someone who happened to be a little older than Jared, and so they could have this natural banter, and she could laud her age, the fact that she was older than him, but not too much older than him, where there would be kind of the authority type figure, but she was female, and she was older, and, and certainly any older female is going to be a little bossy. So they had that whole dynamic, and I enjoyed writing it, and I enjoyed being the cousin. But I never, ever lost that Jared is big brother. And there's proof of that all over the internet, all over the World Wide Web. If you email me at my personal email, or see my like idea at various groups or chats, I'm Jared Sis. Thanks for watching.